Welcome. I would like to take a little bit of time to introduce you to the visual arts programs at Camden County College. Camden County College has three campuses. Our main campus is located in Blackwood, New Jersey, and we have additional annex campuses in Camden City and Cherry Hill. Over 15,000 students are enrolled in over 100 different majors and degree programs each year. If you are interested in the visual arts, if you would like to pursue a degree and get a job working in animation, graphic design, or illustration, if you would like to become a fashion designer or interior designer, a photographer, fine artist, or become an art teacher, Camden County College may be the perfect place for you to get started. We have three visual art degree programs with over 150 art majors annually. As we all know, higher education is expensive and only getting more expensive each year. Compare the average cost of tuition at a state or private college with studying at Camden County College and see how many thousands of dollars you can save on your education. We also know that quality is important. Our arts programs are highly respected and many of our graduates go on to complete their degrees at prestigious colleges and universities throughout the region, such as the University of the Arts, Moore College of Art and Design, Temple University, Drexel, Rutgers, and Rowan University. Other students have transferred to schools like the School of Visual Arts in New York, the Fashion Institute of Technology, and the Art Institute of Chicago. We have special transfer agreements with both Moore College of Art and Design and the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia that enable you to transfer into their programs as a first semester junior after successfully completing your first two years here at Camden County College. At Camden County College, we offer three different two-year associate's degree programs in the visual arts. You may choose to get your degree in the applied arts if you're interested in entering a design field, in studio art if you're interested in the fine arts, or you can major in photography. These programs are designed to transfer to a four-year arts college or university. Let's take a moment to compare the applied arts and studio art degree programs. As you can see, both degrees share a common curriculum of studio art courses known as a Common Core or Foundations Core. These are the same five courses you would be expected to take at almost all four-year art schools, regardless of which area of the visual arts you intend to major in. These studio art classes include two-dimensional design, three-dimensional design, drawing one, drawing two, and color theory. As an applied arts major, those five core classes would be the only art courses required as part of your associate's degree. The rest of the degree requirements would be the academic courses you need in working toward a Bachelor of Arts degree at a four-year college. These are sometimes referred to as general education requirements. If you choose to become a studio arts major, in addition to the five studio art core classes already mentioned, you would also be required to take life drawing, digital photography, art history one, art history two, and five additional studio elective art classes in areas such as sculpture, painting, ceramics, or photography. Like in the applied arts program, you would have academic general education requirements, though far fewer. In your first semester of study as a visual arts major at Camden County College, you're encouraged to take two-dimensional design and basic drawing one. 2D design introduces you to the language of visual communication and the principles of design. You will have weekly assignments that focus on developing your technical skills while working with a variety of materials such as ink, cut paper, graphite, collage materials, and acrylic paint. You will be challenged with analyzing and interpreting your designs and the designs of others. Group critiques held each week and class discussions on different aspects of design are a vital part of this course and help you to develop your ability to create both strong designs and to critically engage with your work. Basic Drawing 1 focuses on developing your ability to draw from life or, as it's termed, from observation. You will be challenged to develop your ability to render objects and physical spaces realistically. You will work predominantly in black and white using either charcoal or graphite and explore large format drawings. You will be introduced to the basic principles of linear perspective and how to create a convincing illusion of three-dimensional space. You'll be introduced to different compositional strategies and ways of structuring your images. An emphasis is placed on developing your ability to shade and create the illusion of light and different kinds of illumination. Since most four-year art degree programs require an application portfolio with an emphasis on observational drawing, it is our goal that at the end of this course you will have at least four to six strong works to include in your transfer portfolio.
I believe uh, that the foundation of all painting is drawing. So whether that means you're drawing with a number two pencil, charcoals, or even just a ballpoint pen, um, drawing really forms the foundation for everything that comes later. Charcoal in many ways is, it's sort of a difficult learning step that first couple of weeks if you've never used the material before. But I think once students get acclimated to it, they find that it's just much, it's a much more meatier substance. But for my classes, I want the students to be a little uncomfortable and get out of their comfort zone. So charcoal is what I have them use. If you're creative, you know, you should be able to make do with what you have, right? I think John Lennon was the guy that said, you know, I'm a musician, give me a gourd and I'll be able to give you something, right? And my drawing students, I tell them this all the time, like you can go out and buy the most high-end materials, paints, sketching pads, all that stuff. Uh, if I handed you a twig and a pile of mud today, you should still be able to give me something. In your second semester of study, you are encouraged to take three-dimensional design and basic drawing two or life drawing. In three-dimensional design, you are exposed to working with a number of different sculpting materials and with a number of different processes. You'll be introduced to modeling clay, carving plaster, basic mold making and casting techniques, wood construction, and welding. Each project starts with sketching and planning two-dimensionally and then follows the process of translating those designs into the third dimension. Many of the projects are involved and extend over multiple weeks. As with the Drawing One course, it is expected that two to three of these projects will serve as strong transfer portfolio material, demonstrating your knowledge of sculptural processes and designing three-dimensionally. If you are an applied arts major, you may choose between taking basic drawing two or life drawing. If you are a studio arts major, you are required to take both. Basic Drawing 2 builds on the skills you have developed in Drawing 1. The majority of your work will still be done from life or from observation, with a continued emphasis placed on developing your ability to accurately and realistically render different objects and spaces. In addition, you are introduced to a more conceptual approach to drawing. This course encourages you to recontextualize objects see them in a unique and different way, to explore the combination of drawing and collage, and to introduce color to your work. Life drawing introduces you to working from the human body and the nude model. This traditional approach to learning the skills of drawing challenges you with the complexity and subtlety of rendering the human form. You will work on developing your ability to capture the figure in many different dynamic poses. You will learn about the basics of anatomy, the major muscle groups, and the bones. You'll focus on drawing hands and feet and completing a self-portrait. For anyone interested in illustration, animation, or fine art, it is the perfect course for developing your ability to show the body accurately and in motion. The last course that rounds out the Basic Foundation's core curriculum is color theory. In this course, you will delve more deeply into color relationships, color behavior, how to develop different ranges of colors or palettes, and how to structure color in your work. Working with and understanding the use of color is both complex and challenging. This course prepares you for more advanced areas of study such as painting one, illustration, and animation, and plays an important role in understanding color in the context of fashion, interior design, and color photography. A main focus of the core curriculum is to develop knowledge and skills that apply to any area of study in the visual arts. You will learn principles that will stick with you and inform you for the rest of your artistic career. And since our goal at Camden County College is to prepare you for transfer to a four-year college or university of your choice, we expect that after completing these courses, you will have developed a strong portfolio for transfer. In addition to the Common Core classes, studio art majors are required to take five additional studio art classes of their choice and to take digital photography. You may choose any combination of classes from the areas of painting, sculpture, ceramics, and photography. You may choose to explore courses in all of the different areas in order to gain a broad base of knowledge, or you may choose to focus more specifically in one area, creating a concentration within your major. In our Painting Level 1 and Painting Level 2 courses, you will learn the finer points of mixing paint, creating coordinated palettes, using color in a way that creates structure and clarifies space in the image. You will also learn how to stretch your own canvases, gesso, and prepare your working surfaces.
As with all the Level 1 Studio courses, the emphasis is on developing basic skills through specific projects and exercises while working from life depicting objects realistically. In Painting 2, you will be encouraged to continue developing your technical skills while also working to discover and establish your own personal style and vision. Sculpture 1 and Sculpture 2 introduce you to working in different sculptural formats, creating fully three-dimensional forms, exploring the relief format, and installation art. Sculpture 1 is a materials and process course, giving you exposure to modeling, carving, mold making and casting, and working with clay, plaster, wood, and found objects. Sculpture 2 allows you to continue developing your sculpting skills and allows you to explore metal fabrication, welding, and stone carving in addition to working in varying formats and with a wide range of materials. Ceramics and Pottery 1 and Ceramics and Pottery 2 introduce you to working with clay, creating both hand-built objects and sculptures, as well as introducing you to the basic techniques of wheel throwing and the potter's wheel. You will be introduced to different techniques such as slab construction, coil building and extrusion, as well as the finishing techniques such as glazing, staining, slip, and scraffito. Camden County College provides you with cone 6 stoneware clay and non-toxic glazes for all your functional pottery and ceramic work. As a studio art or photography major, you have access to our photography facilities, including a dark room for traditional black and white film developing, a studio with professional lighting and backdrop screens, and a digital photo lab with Mac computers and a large format digital printer for high quality inkjet prints. Our photography classes include Photography 1, Photography 2, Digital Photography, and Studio Photography. As you begin thinking about your future career path in education, I would like you to consider getting started at Camden County College. Our art degree programs will help you develop your skills, establish a strong portfolio for transfer, complete up to two years of your coursework, and save you a lot of money as you work towards your bachelor's degree. If you have any questions, if you would like to tour our facilities or talk about scheduling classes and beginning your studies in the visual arts, please email Professor Gregory Brellix, the visual arts chair, or call the number listed below. Thank you.